This video is sponsored by Pixel Film Studios. In this video, we're going through a step-by-step -step method on how you track any surface within your frame and add graphics or text or anything to it. It's a super simple tool to use, and check this out. I put my name on an alpaca. So this plugin is a surface tracker. So Pixel Film Studios has done a few different tracking plugins. They have a single point tracker, which is where you just track a single point within the frame. They also have a four point tracker, which is useful to add graphics into your frame if you wanna add, say, like text on a wall. Now this plugin takes it a step further. So instead of being one or four points, it's actually unlimited amount of points. And what the purpose of this plugin is, is to track a surface. So I have a shot here, it's just the back of my hand. And I just wanna show you with a simple shot, you can add overlays onto objects within your frame. Now, if you wanna get the surface tracker and start using this plugin, I'll put a code on the screen where you can get a little discount from Pixel Film Studios. They're gonna hook you guys up with that. But let's dig into how this plugin works and how you actually map out a surface. So you add the surface tracker onto the footage that you wanna track. And what you wanna do is find a point somewhere in the middle where the object that you're tracking is fully frontal, and then you're gonna track backwards and forwards. If you've seen my other videos on the other trackers by Pixel Film Studios, you'll notice that the workflow is a little bit different. So we're gonna bring up the editor, and you're gonna have a few different controls here. You can do single layer or multi-layer tracking mode. For this shot, it's a pretty simple shot, so I'm gonna do a single layer, but you can add different layers, which gives you just more tracking data to be able to do something like a face. So you have different points controls. You could do a square, which is gonna do a bunch of points within a square. You could do a circle, which is the same type of thing, circle. And then you have your cursor here, which allows you to select, and then you can just delete by hitting delete. So I'm just gonna grab one of these tools, and instead of pulling a box across, I'm gonna go through and just click and add single points around my hand. Now there's a track assist filter. Now, depending on the shot, you don't always have to have this on. You just need to turn up the amount until you're seeing contrast on the surface that you're trying to track. And you have a few different tools here depending on how hard it is to track the object that you're focusing on. So from here, you're gonna use your tools up top to play forward and play backwards. So from here, it's gonna go frame by frame and it's using those points to track the movement of the object. So I'm gonna go back to the center to where I started at 228 and now I'm gonna track backwards from that center mark. And the reason that you wanna track in the center is you wanna find that point where the object is facing front. So say we were tracking my face and if I turned left and then right in the shot, you'd wanna start your track when I'm dead center so then you could track this direction and then this direction and then this direction up because you're gonna find more success if you track in this way. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my track assist off. You can smooth the track data here by using the smooth drag track data points, but now you're gonna add a mesh on top of this. So you've set up all your points and you add on this triangular mesh. And you can see here that it's created a, basically a graph over your object that you're tracking. So I'm gonna go through and clamp the edges if there's any extra lines made, because it's basically gonna create a sphere, a mesh, kind of like this thing back here. And you, you don't wanna have like two points that are you know down here and here, and there's like a gap in between them. If there's nothing there, and it's gonna use that as part of the tracking, and you don't necessarily want that. So from here, I'm gonna use the pointer tool, and you're gonna to wanna to go through and get rid of any extra lines that were added between points. And you can see around the edges, there might be these extra lines that you just need to remove. But what you wanna do is click the apply mesh on frame. And you wanna make sure to apply this on that middle frame of your shot where the object is flat to camera. And once you've done that, you're gonna export the data. So now it's gonna set all the keyframes onto your footage. And from here, we just need to add in the graphical element that you wanna to add to the back of my hand or whatever object you're tracking. So in the inspector window, you'll make sure that the drop zone is turned on. You'll wanna click this box here to add what you want in the drop zone. I'm gonna add this clip of my name being written out. 
and then when you play it back, you'll see that the graphic has been tracked to the object. So this plugin works great if you have a need to add graphics or text or any other elements to objects within your frame. And if you don't need your text or your graphic to warp around your object, and you just wanna say, put it on the wall, or you just wanna do like a single point tracker, then I'll put links to the other plugins down below in the description and you can check out the videos on those. All of these plugins work great if you need to track objects within your frame. All right guys, that is it. I will see you on the next one.